Okay, this is the uh, floor support, um, uh, um, door door sill support. I um, think it's quite quite large, quite high, but this point here is deliberately lower than the other one, so that you can step over and in. Um, and because I already have that node in and that node in that point and that end when they're connected. I'm going to have to glue those on, um, probably the hot glue, and carefully check the diagram. But uh, this one, um, that end is free, floating free, so I can measure from there to there and cut the length appropriately and put that end on, which, there we go, you can see that end. So this actually goes on the inside, not the outside here. And thing. Um, but now that stiffens it up. Now, strictly speaking, this is not a geodesic shape um, because it goes to a central point. Um, uh, if it was a geodesic shape, it would have uh, it would be a. I'd probably put an extra bracing point down and make a um, penta, pentahedron, penta, penta thing, the five, five side thing, five side thing in there. Um, one, two, three, four, and put that in, put that in, and start bing, bing, binking up this. But it's too many pipes and too complex, as I said. What I'm going to do instead is when this is in, I'm going to start. Um, use the um, uh, the door panel, the panel technique to put curve, curves into the thing and um, that will make sure that it's not um, able to flex backwards and forwards because at the moment that central point obviously can flex up and down, push and result in this shape, this bent here going flex, flex, flex right at that point there and there's no other thing. Um, but any flex in that will be translated into pushing that point out. So if you put in a curve shape, uh, multi curve, it's why, why in cars you have a lot of curves. A most uh, uh, a famous example of that is the VW Beetle, um, which has, uh, has astonishing crash proof strength because it's basically the shape of an egg. So anyway, um, I'm going to do the left hand side now and uh, we're good.